A UTSA student has a great excuse for cutting class, fighting in a global martial arts tournament. JT Street shows us how she could roundhouse her way into sports history on Street's Corner. Hey! Step onto the mat for a training session with Sensei Sierra Luna and you'll likely wind up with a head full of karate knowledge. You can develop one pattern for years and years and you might master it. I, and I love that. I love that it's not something just you can pick up right away. She can really bring it. So, uh, you know, you have to have your game as well. So you can't let up at one bit or uh, you might find yourself on the floor. That ability floored the coaches of the U.S. martial arts team, who invited Sierra to be the only Texas karate athlete to compete in the first ever World Martial Arts Games. My question was, if I don't make the team, will they send me back critiques? And they said yes. I tried out for the critiques. I didn't, I didn't expect to make the team. She's really representing a lot here. You know, not just uh, San Antonio, Texas. It's a big deal, for sure. I can't get wrapped up into that electrifying moment. I can appreciate it, but I can't get caught up in it because it's gonna, it, it will mess up the forms. It has to be like the, the, the eye of the storm. And soon martial artists from around the world will feel the force of Hurricane Sierra. <laughs> to be on the team representing Texas, I hope it opens up doors for more traditional karate athletes to get on the, the big world stage. The World Martial Arts Games are in Canada in about two weeks. To follow Sierra's progress, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.